Iki tells us about one local group who is stepping up to stop the violence. The street team is now doubling their outreach after Baton Rouge broke records in homicides and overdose in 2021. It teaches conflict resolution. It is it, 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 a step up from um, your, your guidance counselor. Each member of the street team shares a similar story. But I lost uh, a best friend of mine in 2009, surrounded by a, a, a whole bunch of violent deaths. Losing a loved one to violence. Is that when we go out and we interact with these community members, um, we get to actually hear their story. The street team is a trained group of residents from high crime neighborhoods. They work with Mayor President Sharon Westenbroom's office. They visit the 70802 and 7805 zip code to talk to their neighbors' needs. With Baton Rouge breaking last year's records in crime, they are committed to putting in extra hours if that means they can help save a life. Wynn Bush joined the street team to prevent others from feeling her loss. Over the course of my life since uh, high school, I've lost a total of about 40 people that I've come in contact with, and that's sad. These heroes understand firsthand what the residents are going through. Community is deprived of a lot of the resources that are out there, and some of it is not made apparent to their particular community. Winbush says part of reducing crime is providing and getting North Baton Rouge the proper health, financial, and educational resources. She says if a resource like the street team existed before, her best friend might be living today. The street team was created late this summer. Since then, they have developed relationships with over 1,700 families. They hope to expand to other areas impacted by violence. Reporting in studio, Anam Siddiqui, NBC Local 33 News.